Hey everybody, I hope everyone is well. I am back this week with a recipe video. Earlier on in the week, I asked you guys over on Instagram if you wanted to see a creamy pea and salmon pasta recipe that I put together, which was just, oh, so good. And a lot of you responded and said you wanted to see it. And I'm also going to be sharing a chickpea and aubergine coconut curry with stir fried turmeric quinoa, which is, mm, and a lot of you have also requested that recipe too. So I am delivering today. I've got you guys. I'm gonna give you plenty of ideas for your week to come. As always, you guys know the drill that this video is going to include plenty of seasonal vegetables. Please, if you try them out and you take a picture and you're on Instagram, please tag me. Let me know how it goes. The full recipe description can be found in the description box. I'm excited to be back on YouTube. I have genuinely missed filming regular content for you guys. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I've got plenty of exciting recipes, new exciting recipes that I'm going to share with you guys over the next few weeks. I'm ready to jump straight into this week's recipes. Let's go. So during the week, I had the biggest craving for something creamy and comforting, something like a pasta dish, and that is exactly what I created. So I created this creamy pasta with salmon and peas and dill and lots of other vegetables, and it blew my mind. You guys are going to love it. I started off by preparing the salmon, which was washed and scaled, and I placed a generous amount of sea salt on both sides, followed by some garlic granules, and then I used this little secret weapon. It's a salmon rub, and it has ingredients like dill, parsley, tarragon. It's kind of like a little shortcut, and I placed a generous amount of that all over the salmon, followed on by some black pepper, a splash of tamari, followed on by a squeeze of lemon juice, and a drizzle of olive oil. I heated up my griddle pan. Feel free to use any pan or you can even place the fish into the oven. And I cooked on both sides until the fish was golden and cooked fully throughout. And I set the fish aside. The creamy element of this dish actually comes from coconut milk, which is so good for pasta dishes. If you guys didn't know, it actually thickens up and creates a really delicious, deep, rich, velvety, creamy, beautiful sauce, which we are going to prepare now. Begin by chopping up, finely chopping up and dicing some onions, crush some garlic cloves, peel them and then finely chop them. We're gonna use a lot of garlic for this creamy sauce. And then I used a little bit of scotch bonnet. Finely chop up some red peppers, followed on by some courgettes, my favorite summer ingredient. And then finely chop some spring onions, which if you guys are in the States, you'll know them as scallions. So place in your onions, followed on by your garlic and stir everything, constantly stirring for about two minutes. So place in some sea salt, followed on by a good, good, good grind of black pepper, followed on by some dried thyme, some dried herb de Provence. You can use oregano or whatever other types of herbs you have on deck, be creative be free and then place in the finely chopped scotch bonnet followed on by the red pepper. It wouldn't be a dish unless I mentioned tamari so if you want go ahead splash in a little bit of tamari followed on by some fresh chopped parsley. We're going to start building the flavour, the layers from now. So go ahead and pour in the coconut milk, reduce the heat a little bit and you will see that things will start to thicken up and you can adjust the seasoning, you can add more herbs if you wish to, some more black pepper. And um, yeah, then once the sauce has started to thicken up, go ahead and throw in the courgettes. I prefer to do it at this point because I like my courgettes to have a little bit of texture to them, a little bit of bite. Follow on by throwing in the chopped spring onions and squeeze over some lemon juice. And then at the last minute, you are going to place in the peas and some fresh dill and fresh parsley. So go ahead and bring a large pot of water to boil. Place in your pasta of choice. I used brown rice pasta. Once the pasta was cooked, I combined the sauce with the pasta and then I placed in the flaked salmon, mixed everything once again. And then it was time to serve this incredible dish. So I grabbed my bowl, placed it on, 
placed more on and more on. <laughs> and I topped it with some extra fresh herbs, another grind of black pepper because I can't get enough of it. And this was divine. This bowl is delicious. If you try it, I, I just know, I know you're gonna love it. So moving on to the other recipe, which is just as tasty and delicious as the recipe you just saw. I'm giving you guys so many options for your week to come. This is a recipe for a chickpea and aubergine coconut curry with stir fried turmeric quinoa. A lot of you have requested this over on my Instagram and it is finally time to share. So let's get into this. So to create this dish, we are going to start off by finely grating some ginger. You can also chop it if you don't have one of these graters. And then we are going to finely chop some garlic and some onions just the base of most recipes that are delicious so place your onions ginger and garlic into a heated pan mixing for a few minutes I used some cumin seeds and some mustard seeds for this dish crushing the cumin seeds before I placed them into the pan and then I placed in the yellow mustard seeds some sea salt and some black pepper to taste followed on by some curry powder and garam masala. I gave everything a good mix and then threw in some thyme. You can splash a little bit of water in just so you don't burn the bottom of your pan. Place in some fresh curry leaves. I can find them in a shop close to me quite easily. If you can't find fresh curry leaves, then you can use dried, they will work too. And then I threw in some passata. You can use chopped tomatoes or plum tomatoes if you wish to. And then I poured over the coconut milk. Let everything simmer, bubble away and cook down. Everything will be smelling incredible in your kitchen at this point. So I also added in some nigella seeds. I love to have like a hint of these nigella seeds when I'm eating the dish. It just adds another delicious element to this recipe. Go ahead and prepare the aubergine. So cut the aubergine into kind of small to medium sized chunks. I threw the aubergine into a bowl and then placed on top a little bit of sea salt. This is just to draw all the moisture out of the aubergine. And then I quickly pan fried the aubergine. You don't have to follow this step. I just think it adds something extra and um, I just like doing it, but you can definitely just place the aubergine straight into the sauce. It's totally optional what you choose to do. And then I placed in the chickpeas, the cooked chickpeas and gave everything another little mix. Of course, I threw in some fresh coriander and then I just let everything cook for around 15 to 20 minutes. It was then time to prepare the stir fried turmeric quinoa, which is one of my favorite ways to prepare quinoa. It just brings it to life, adds a little oomph to quinoa, and this is how you do it. I prepared my quinoa until it was cooked and fluffy. You wanna get that good consistency of quinoa. You don't wanna undercook it, but you don't want it soggy and overcooked. So I finally diced some red peppers and some spring onions and some red onions. I heated a little oil in a pan and I placed in the red pepper, followed on by some grated ginger and some fennel seeds, giving everything a mix. I placed in some dried dill, continuing to mix, and then placed in the red onions and the spring onions. Look how colorful and incredible this looks. I placed in some turmeric powder, some garam masala, and then followed on by placing in the cooked quinoa, just cooking everything down for a couple of minutes. So it was time to serve up this incredible bowl. Place on top the stir fried turmeric quinoa, followed on by the coconutty, creamy, delicious, rich, tomatoey aubergine and chickpea curry. I also placed a little salad on the side with in season cherry tomatoes, which are just bursting with flavor, some red onion, uh, some avocado, and oh yeah, no words to describe this bowl. I love the fact that I use a lot of spice seeds, like the nigella seeds and the fennel seeds. You can really taste it, taste the burst of flavor as you are eating it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe video. Let me know, please, in the comment section what you plan on trying out. If you try them, let me know. Tag me over on Instagram. I will see you in the next video very soon. See you all. Bye.